It's happening. What's up, Money Geeks? I'm V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol MMAT, Meta Material. You guys remember, this is a stock that we covered here on the channel when uh, they were going through their merger uh, with Torchlight. And finally, that merger went through. This price of the stock skyrocketed and then turned around and pulled back massively. And so the stock has just been really trading low and um, recently there's been some movement. So I wanted to make sure that we cover that here on the channel. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, Meta Material um, is a company that actually builds like nano composite material um, that they use in different industries from aerospace to um, defense and um, even in, in biotechnology that like they use these materials. So it's a special purpose uh, material company. So uh, when they were going through that merger, I told you guys where I was super excited about the company. I like um, uh, innovation. I like companies that are changing uh, the way we do things, coming up with new technologies, new ideas. And um, so I like to invest in because I'm looking into the future. I'm not looking back into history. So Meta Material is one of those companies, but uh, from a stock perspective, the stock has actually really struggled from the last time we talked about it because uh, when we talked about this stock in the past, uh, before the merger and during the merger, and then the post-merger slump, which is what I always advise uh, to not buy uh, just towards the merger because after the merger, you always see that slump. The post-merger slump for Meta Material has been really, really terrible. So again, um, when we're doing this video here, guys, you can see Meta Material uh, was up, let's just go back here for the day, was up close to 20% for the day. Uh, as you can see here, started somewhere about 345 and then squeezed all the way to a high of 448. So this is a very unusual move for, for this particular stock. So when we see movement like this, um, it, that's something that I want to keep my eye on. Meta Material, last, uh, I think last week, um, actually announced that they formed a new um, a, a scientific um, advisory board. So again, that's not something that really moved the stock. But those are things that they're actually putting into place that we see as a potential uh, for bigger things to happen. So making this, putting this new board and bringing in more smart people to kind of help guide the company again in the right direction um, so they can start producing uh, uh, good products and, man and, and supplying this product. So I do like um, the idea that they're building that. Um, however, that is not grounds in my personal opinion for this stock to really move the way the stock move because remember this thing has surged all the way to 21 dollars uh before pulling back and again pull back all the, if we just go back here let's go back here a month you can see this thing pull back to two dollars and 88 cents uh if we go back here six months if you can look at that high they how this thing spiked um, closer with the 20 bucks and then look at completely pulled down. So uh, we're sitting right here. If this is going to support and consolidation and then we're anticipating that there could be a short squeeze coming up here because uh, there's been a lot of information. Uh, if you go on uh, Reddit and most of the social uh, media platforms, they are talking a lot about uh, Meta Material because the thing about 9% of the float is actually shorted. So, and then the price of the stock is also very cheap. So you can actually see retail investors jumping in here uh, with the potential of a gamma squeeze. So I'm gonna keep my eyes directly open and watching uh, Meta Material actively for a potential uh, gamma squeeze. And one thing that I want you guys to know also is that this particular stock is currently down 80% from its uh, 52 week high. That is a lot. So the stock is really trading at the bottom. I mean, imagine 80% down from its 52 week high. That is no joke. So uh, that's something that I want us to keep an eye on. So again, um, this movement, let's just go back here on this one, this movement right here going almost 20%. If this next week, if this momentum continues, we can actually see the same pop into maybe that five, six dollar uh, point. Uh, but again, support, this thing has stayed um, under 
let's go back here a month it stayed in this in this region right here for quite a, quite a, quite a while see if we can see right here under that uh four dollars it stayed there for a long time so it's exciting to see this thing kind of start um moving to the upside uh, and again if that gamma squeeze comes through don't be surprised if this thing like just blow past six dollars um and head up um to some other number that i don't want to mention here again this is just my speculation so do your own research before uh you go put money into this i'm just looking at the numbers looking at uh, what people are talking on uh, Reddit and also looking at the possibility of what would allow this to be uh, a gamma squeeze. Everything aligns um, in my personal opinion. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we cover this one. So I'm going to be looking at this one um, really, really closely next week. And like I said, if you look here, uh, this thing can easily squeeze here from this four dollars and go test six dollars next week If not, I mean Monday or Tuesday if not uh, if the momentum continues That's just what it takes. It, it's like a snowball effect Once it gets started and then more people hear about it Then more people are gonna jump in and next thing you know, they're gonna squeeze this thing um, all the way up to uh, Maybe nine 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 dollars. That would be awesome if you can get to that point, but uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, so I, I'm I'm gonna just keep watching it. I have it on my watch list for next week, so we'll see how things pan out. So again, that's something that uh, I wanted us to to cover um, in this video. In the meantime, I want you to not just focus on the short term, um, uh, you no know, possibilities of Meta Material. From a long term perspective, it's a great company. I like what they are doing. I like the, the products that they're working on. Um, until they get to the point where they start being profitable, uh, we're going to see this up and down in the stock. So be patient. If you are a long-term investor, that's what I always tell you guys, buy dips. When this thing went down to $2.88, that would have been a good spot for you to buy and then hold it so that when you get some of this squeeze, it goes up like that. You can even take some profit and go invest in something else and diversify your portfolio. That's how the strategy works. Uh, you have to exercise patience. So again, this is just um, my personal uh, opinion on the stock for the short squeeze. But again, long term, you can definitely buy the dips on the stock and hold it long term. So I expect to see some movement next week. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you see these, um, like people talking about it on Reddit, the fact that um, the stock, about 9% of their float is actually shorted. You think all that, as, like I'm thinking, do you think that can culminate into a potential gamma squeeze here? Let me know in the comment section. Again, do your research before you jump into um, stocks like this, hoping that it's gonna pop. It might not pop, so it's just a possibility. That's, again, my personal um, opinion here. So let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, I'm going to put some links in the description below if you want to get started with investing. Webo is a platform that we recommend. When you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks. Links in the description again. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.